The notable military achievement, dubbed CAN 600 Plus, which was showcased during a ceremony on Wednesday, is capable of carrying armored vehicles at once and can reduce the wear and tear on tracks and the other components of the powertrains of tracked vehicles. Additionally, upgraded 100-ton and 60-ton special-duty trucks, a mobile medical unit fitted with laboratory, operating room, medical imaging equipment for radiography and intensive care unit, ICU, in addition to an armored ambulance capable of carrying six casualties at once were put on display. The ceremony in Tehran was attended by Chief Commander of the Iranians Army Major General Abdolraham Massavi, Second-in-Command of the Iranians Army Mohammad Hossein Dadras, Deputy Chief of Iranian Army for Coordination Rear Admiral Habibullah Sayari, Commander of the Iranian Army's Ground Force Brigadier General Qayyamers Hadari, and a number of other high-ranking military officials. On Monday, different units of the Islamic Republic of Iran Army unveiled a number of new drones and homegrown missiles in a parade marking the National Army Day. One of the major achievements put on display during the parade was the new generation of Ababal multirole tactical unmanned aerial vehicles, named Ababal 5. The new nose cone design of the drone suggests improved aerodynamic efficiency and reduced radar cross-section. A new suicide drone also joined the Iranian army's fleet of unmanned aerial vehicles. The homegrown aircraft, dubbed Ahmed, Hope, is reportedly propelled by a powerful piston engine. The Delta-wing Iranian drone could be flown from both ground and offshore launchers. The army also unveiled surface-to-surface -surface FAF 360 and LABI missiles as well as Desfil and Majid air defense systems. Iranian military experts and technicians have in recent years made substantial headways in manufacturing a broad range of indigenous equipment, making the armed forces self-sufficient in the arms sphere. Iranian officials have repeatedly underscored that the country will not hesitate to strengthen its military capabilities, including its missile power, which are entirely meant for defense, and that Iran's defense capabilities will be never subject to negotiations. Leader of the Islamic Revolution Ayatollah Sayyid Ali Khamenei has repeatedly called for efforts to maintain and boost Iran's defense capabilities, hitting back at the enemies for disputing the country's missile program. Armed forces to target center of Israel if it acts against Iran. The message to the Zionist regime is that, if you seek to normalize relations with the countries of the region, you should know that your slightest move is not hidden from the eyes of our armed forces and our intelligence and security forces," the president said Monday. Just know that, if the slightest move on your part occurs against our nation, our armed forces will target the center of the Zionist regime, and the power of our armed forces will not leave you at rest," he added. He issued the warning during a parade held in front of the mausoleum of Imam Khamenei, the founding father of the Islamic Republic, outside Tehran to mark Iran's Army Day. Army combat and armored units, airborne helicopters, air force fighters, air defense weapons, defense systems and naval equipment mounted on military trucks marched in front of a stand, from where top government and military officials observed the parade. The parade featured the latest radar and missile systems, as well as drones, tanks and other domestic military hardware. President Riisi said the armed forces of the Islamic Republic have many capabilities, the most central of which is their sincere and devout members who are ready to face danger for the sake of the country. Today, our military capabilities are well known, not only in the region, but also in the world," the president said, stressing that the most important component of power in Iran is the country's revolutionary people. The army is in the hearts of the people, and under the command of the commander-in-chief, it is ready to carry out missions, and this readiness is a great achievement for our country. Riisi said the army took advantage of the most draconian sanctions on Iran to empower itself. Today, our military industry is in the best condition, so we must use it in other industries of the country," he said. What the White House spokesman told the world was that they have suffered a disgraceful defeat in their sanctions and maximum pressure on Iran, and that this is the fate of those who want to fall out with the Islamic system," the president added. 
In January, U.S. State Department spokesman Ned Price stated that the maximum pressure campaign against Iran, initiated by the Trump administration and maintained by the Biden administration, has been an abject failure. Thank you.